Are you a slave to your senses? Today we're going to have a little meditation on sense craving, sense pleasures. I hope you join me in this little exploration. I hope this is something that can um, inspire people because I feel like a lot of times it's just kind of a bummer sort of thing that people don't like to think about unless they're like me and they're already thinking this stuff and then it's just something that's normal. But um, I went to a New Year's party last night. It was fantastic. Had one sip of champagne. And as far as I know, that was the only sip of alcohol I've had all year um, for all of 2023. So I ended 2023 with a single sip of champagne and I don't actually even really like champagne, but it was to celebrate. And <clears throat> so this morning I'm just checking the Bhagavad Gita again. I, I still think it's hilarious how much I like this book because um, it's so, it reminds me of my friends a long time ago back in California, my um, Hare Krishna friends that would read this kind of stuff and then go run around the streets in cloth robes and dance uh, and sing Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Um, <laughs> so it makes me laugh because that, that was never my thing. But um, <clears throat> sense pleasures. Uh, <clears throat> It's all around us. We all want to get um, pleasure and we all want to avoid pain. It's just part of being alive. Well, let's see what uh, Krishna has to say with it. So Arjuna asks, tell me, Krishna, of those who live established in wisdom, ever aware of the self, O Krishna, how do they talk? How sit? How move about? Krishna replies, they live in wisdom who see themselves in all and all in them who have renounced every selfish desire and sense craving, tormenting the heart. Neither agitated by grief nor hankering after pleasure, they live free from lust and fear and anger. Established in meditation, they are truly wise. Fettered no more by selfish attachments, they are neither elated by good fortune nor depressed by bad. Such are the seers. I like that he calls them seers. The seers. What is it? What are they seeing? They see something. They see. <clears throat> they see the pointlessness of um, sense pleasure, and why is it pointless? Because it's just so empty. Because it doesn't ever satisfy. It just gives a momentary joy, a momentary pleasure that passes and dissolves again into emptiness. So seeing that, um, they sit in established in meditation, in the established in wisdom. Even as a tortoise draws in its limbs, the wise can draw in their senses at will. Aspirants abstain from sense pleasures, but they still crave for them. These cravings all disappear when they see the highest goal. Even of those who tread the path, the stormy senses can sweep off the mind. They live in wisdom who subdue their senses and keep their minds ever absorbed in me. Me, of course, this Krishna, but Krishna being God, uh, being everything being the absolute, the eternity, <clears throat> make of it what you will. Um, you know, Jesus said it was me. Krishna said it's me. Um, you can interpret that how you want. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to jump ahead just because I want to, I, I like this part. The disunited mind is far from wise. How can it meditate? How be at peace? When you know no peace, how can you know joy? When you let your mind follow the call of the senses, they carry away your better judgment as storms drive a boat off its charted course on the sea. <clears throat> so not only is chasing sense pleasure empty because there's no ultimate satisfaction in the pleasure, but also uh, it drives you like a boat lost in a storm at sea because there's pleasures everywhere and they're, and they're always like kind of questionably obtainable uh they're never guaranteed even if you know even if it was like okay pleasure is temporary but I, it's guaranteed so i can uh, as soon as this pleasure ends i know i can just go get that pleasure you know maybe that would be a different story but I ne it's never guaranteed if i'm actually even going to get that pleasure like there's a funny tv right here which is a pleasure sense objects you know but even if i turn it on i don't know if 
I'm actually going to be entertained by what's there or uh, will I be upset or angered or bored or just um, dissatisfied. Um, so, so chasing the things, it leads to this chasing, this chasing, which the craving itself is like a wind in a stormy sea that blows us all around. That's my meditation on the chasing of self-pleasure, sense pleasure, for the start of 2024. So today is January 1st, number one, one, one. And this is when people make a New Year's resolution. Um, that's it. That's my New Year's resolution is to never chase a sense pleasure again. There you go. That was easy. I am sure I will succeed. <laughs> ah. It's a good life over here in this little garage gym that I've got. Um, hope your 2024 is wonderful, whatever it is, um, but don't go chasing too many sense pleasures. Find that, that settled place within yourself.